YouTube, Original Big Brown here, and this is the next shout out Sunday's video we got right here for week two. Um, now, before uh, you guys uh, rant or complain, whatever, this is not the Joey 20 Rocks, all right? This is a much more different channel. This is not a troll, all right? So I'm just pointing that out before uh, you guys start commenting and disliking, all right? So uh, this guy right here, Joey 20 Rocks, uh, he does have a lot of subscribers, but the main reason why I pointed him out and this shout out video is because it doesn't get that quite much views I mean uh, mostly 30 to 40 views which that's good but I, I think he, he should have more because uh, for many reasons first of all he has a new format of reviewing and that's pretty cool um, creative as I would say because uh, many people are getting kind of bored with the old format like uh, Soup Junior does which I'm not complaining that that, that uh, format I still like and I still use for my reviews so I'm not complaining so uh, hope you guys enjoy this video he uh, pointed out to send to me when I PM him PM personal message and why wow, I cannot repeat I can't pronounce it um, so yeah I hope you guys enjoy this review uh, it's pretty well detailed and has great camera quality so uh you guys will mostly like this video and so yeah please comment like subscribe and favorite this video if uh you like diecast reviews and subscribe to the um user down below joey 20 rocks other than that uh take it away mr joey 20 rocks Hello guys, this is going to be another diecast review on Kyle Busch's 2011 M&M's Red, White, and Blue 911 Tribute Toyota for Joe Gibbs Racing. This is a really, really cool car. I mean, really, really cool car. I love it so much. I really like it. Um, I got this car for Christmas. It's a late Christmas gift, I guess. And I think it's pretty cool. I mean, I know it's pretty cool. It's really, really cool. I'm like the third person to have this on YouTube, I think, something like that, um, yeah, so, one thing I want to state, I don't know why not all of the Kyle Busch cars have this little officially licensed M&M product, um, only like two or three of them, I know this Halloween car has it, and this car has it, but I don't know why, but anyway, so a 360 view of the car in the box, this car is really cool, I mean, really, really, really cool. Got the new and the new Toyota 2012 headlights and taillights. That's a cool feature. Let's take it out. Okay, here is the car. If I'm not mistaken, I think I'm the first person to review this car. I think. If I'm not, that's okay because I really don't care. Um, but yeah. So yeah, the new headlights. Which, that's pretty cool. And then the new taillights. They really messed up on this taillight, but that's okay, because this one's perfect. And then this one right here, it's kind of hard to see, because, you know, the headlight's kind of dark. The new headlights have gotten, like, a whole bunch darker. Um, I think it's kind of cool. It looks kind of like Beast. I don't know. But this one's kind of high. It's a little messed up. Not too bad. I really cannot see how good these look. I would like to, I can't wait to get a 2012 car that actually is like a white car, like maybe Mark Martin and Michael Waltrip's um, Aaron's car, that might be good, because then with the white car I could really tell how the paint, how the uh, Toyota headlights look, you know, since it has this dark blue here, I really can't see it that well, but yeah, they're there, tail lights I can see pretty well, it's pretty cool. And then it's got the new back uh, exhaust pipes things, and the new um, yeah I don't know what it's called, but the new um, I guess duct in the front, two of them on both sides. Um, yeah, so let's get started with the review. It's not a very complicated paint scheme, so it's not going to take that long. Um, so the main colors of the car: red, white, and blue, obviously, and a little bit of silver. Because there's like some ruffles and folds in the flag, and that kind of looks like silver. I see a lot on the hood right here. Um, yeah, and a little bit on the back right there. So the paint scheme's got a blue splitter, or dark blue, navy blue. Um, and then 
both sides are different. They are different. Um, like this side's got the uh, blue stars and stripes, and this side has just the uh, stripes. So the paint scheme, this do both sides because they're both different. Right here on this side is a patch of blue with white stars on it, like 50, 51 stars. Um, good thing I know that. And then from here, from the eight on back, it's all red, white, and blue stripes. Mostly just, um, mostly just uh, red, white, red and blue, or red and white. The main color of the car is blue. Like this is the base color right here. But it's like got a blue flag laying on top of it. So it's a blue car with a blue flag, or a red, white, and blue flag laying on top of it. And this side's just got red and white stripes going across. And then the hood's got half stars, half stripes. And then the roof is basically just stripes, but then it has like a tiny little area where it's got blue and then two stars. And then the back has got stripes. The deck lid has stripes. Um, side skirts, uh, blue, spoilers black, roof fins black, side, uh, shark fins red. Um, this number is white outlined in blue outlined in white, and this one's the same. So it was the one on the headlight and tail light right there. So, 360 view of the car, left side, front, right side, back, top, and bottom. So the sponsors are Toyota Camry, 18, Sunoco, Goodyear, NASCAR Spring Cup Series, Official Race Car, 911, uh, Direct TV, Gatorback, Mechanics Wear, Mail, O'Reilly, 18, USA, USA uh, Toyota on this little window right there, American Ethanol, 18, 911, Never Forget, 18, uh, Toyota, nothing on the deck lid. Um, yeah, so see you guys with my next review.